distinguished representative of Mongolia. Please, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you, Madam uh, Chairperson, Excellencies, and ladies and gentlemen. At the outset, I would like to extend our sincere appreciation to Poland for its leadership, which combined the commitment to the OEC principles and values with innovative features of the agenda, along with the efforts to make OEC noticeably visible. Your steadfast commitment and resilience have been exemplary, especially during this turbulent year, in which our organization has faced real difficulties in carrying out its mandate with our jointly agreed commitments and principles challenged on many areas. We are all witnesses that the security challenges the OSCE region is facing and growing in nature and becoming increasingly intertwined. When international norms and principles are disrespected, the confidence and trust among participating states, which represent the cornerstones of the multilateralism, have become eroded. The lack of trust is par paralyzing our collective activity. Thus, we need to continue openly and cooperatively seeking for the ways to reduce the risk and increase confidence at all levels. As the world's largest regional security organization, the OSCE provides us with unique platform for dialogue and normative framework. Its conflict resolution and confidence building mechanisms have made important contributions to preventing crisis, resolving protracted conflicts, strengthening the peace development and combating transnational threats. Madam Chairperson, it has been 10 years since Mongolia became a full-fledged member of the organization. Our country has fully supported the aims of and works carried out within the OSCE and reiterated its firm commitments towards an effective, inclusive multilateralism based on the uh, respect for the rules-based international order, cooperation, and dialogue to address jointly the current challenges in a constructive and goal-oriented manner. We need to adapt, adapt to the multifaceted uh, challenges, in particular climate change being one of the urgent issues, and build systems and societies that will remain resilient to all future external shocks. As one of the countries that is vulnerable and more prone to climate change, Mongolia prioritized efforts to mitigate negative effects combat desertification and protect terrestrial ecosystems. With this purpose, the President of Mongolia initiated Billion Trees National Movement to plant, grow, and protect billions of trees by 2030. Therefore, we would like to cooperate with the OSCE and its participating states for contributing to global efforts to preserve and strengthen active cooperation with the international community. Excellencies, each of the dimensions of our organization contributes to the comprehensive concept of security. We appreciate the consist consistent efforts of the Polish chairmanship to engage the OSCE with the important topics of women's economic empowerment, climate change, and environmental protection. It should be duly noted that with its broad security mandate and membership, this organization is well suited to address the linkage between climate change, environmental protection, sustainable development, and security. The fight against terrorism has become eminently important yet challenging, especially in light of the increased integration of digital tools into our lives and societies. The main goal of preventing and countering terrorism, violent extremism, Radicalization cannot be attained by, solely by national governments' efforts. We need to work together and cross regionally in a concrete manner. Since the outset of the Helsinki process, human rights, fundamental freedoms, democracy, and rule of law have been at the core of the OAC cooperative and inclusive security concept. The OSCE has a role to play throughout its institutions and field operation in keeping governments accountable to their citizens for the implementation of their application to ensure full enjoyment of their rights and freedoms. 
Those lie at the foundation of resilient, prosperous societies, guaranteed transparency, and contributions of power, corruption, and disinformation. Dear colleagues, it is regretful that we were unable to find common position on some of the important issues discussed intensively throughout this year, including freedom of expression, media, and women economic empowerment, transnational organized crime, climate change issues. I'm also equally disappointed that we do not seem sufficiently to have made efforts to find solution to other internal organizational issue issues that consume our time, detract us from engaging in a dialogue on substantive issues. Therefore, it's our strong belief that we must be guided by our commitment to all the principles and values of the OSCE and should not look beyond the stated goals of this organization. In conclusion, we look forward to working with North Macedonia as the next chairmanship and wish every success in its endeavor to navigate the organization in 2023. I thank you. Thank you. I will now pass the floor to the next speaker uh, on my list, which is the distinguished